Karori, the final frontier. Karori is the single largest suburb in the Southern Hemisphere. Established in 1840, some call it K-Town, some call it Rory, some call it Northland, and some simply call it home. Surrounded by Wilton, Highbury and Makara, Karori has a population of 14,013 and is a short four kilometre drive from central Wellington. Karori is a simple town with simple people, but has much to offer, such as world famous schooling, the nation's best libraries, as well as many opportunities for the future. But there is a troubling problem concerning Karori residents, a problem of great proportions. Three young filmmakers are about to set out and stop this problem from creating any further harm to the daily lives of innocent Karorians. The team assigned to tackling this investigation consist of Jolie, an adventurous Johnsonville resident with a confused humorous attitude. Louis, a Naya resident with a vision for doing something good for the world and a lanky plant-like figure. And Trees, an actual real-life legitimate Karori resident with a whining, complaining voice and wonderful facial expressions. The team begin their investigation by asking some of the local residents what they know of the rooster. So you've heard of the Koroi rooster? Yeah, what? sometimes I hear them, not like all the time. Yeah, I've heard a rooster crow in the middle of the night. Does that count? Okay. There was the sound of a rooster and it echoed throughout Koroi, all of Koroi. What do you think of the Koroi rooster? The Koroi rooster. Well, I've heard about it, but I don't really know what it is. Being old, you hear it. Koroi rooster. We don't talk about the Koroi rooster. What's up with that baby? What's its problem? Why must it? Crows. Why must it crow at this time of day? This is supposed to crow in the morning, not the early afternoon. I think something needs to be done. Well, I've heard people talk about them. Uh, down the supermarket, there's a lot of word on the street about cocks, but I don't know, I just thought it was a dirty joke. Well, my next door neighbour's a neighbourhood watch person, so I think you should get a vigilante group out. Dennis, a homeschooled Karorian resident of 11 years, has lived in fear of the rooster his whole life. What time does, well, when was the last time you heard him? What time was it? Um, I think it was Thursday last week. I haven't yeah. heard him in a while though. Do you think he's like wild or do you think someone personally owns him? Yeah. I don't know, because you basically hear it throughout everywhere basically. Maybe there's more than they approached the local chicken expert for information, in the hope she might have a lead. You can't have anything on your property that creates noise and nuisance. And most neighbours think that roosters. So no roosters, that's why. Yeah, we kept ours in the basement for a little bit. It's in a box for the pot, 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 for the pot. For the pot. <laughs> it's in a box. <laughs> Shaken from their traumatic time, with heavy hearts and low hopes, the team hurry home to discuss the probability of finding the rooster. Later that day, the team were taking a break from the investigation, when all of a sudden, they received a mysterious phone call. Hello? What's that? You have information concerning the Cory rooster? Okay, that's, that's very helpful. Do you have any information about his whereabouts? You tuna. Thank you. We will find him. New information and a new hope. The next day they decide to follow the lead. They head to Fuchuna, a nearby retirement home, for one last stab at locating the rooster. Oh, what's that growing? Ow, oh, look at her flowers. Guys, look at her flowers. Oh, that 
They're pretty quiet, aren't they? Guys, I'm scared. I don't want anyone to beat me up. Louis gonna go ask these people. No, fuck, no, no, we don't. Fuck me. Do you know anything about this? No, but I did see about three months ago the girl, a girl with a rooster out on the street. Have you lost one? Do you hear? Right? No, I haven't heard it. The team get information that the rooster has been seen nearby in an abandoned grey house. In the three of you students. Yeah, 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 here yeah, we yeah. are. In Owens Road. Yeah. That older lady said she saw a, a kid a few weeks ago holding a rooster in a grey house. Wait, that's quite grey. Then you don't know. Do you think it's this one? Should we go to this one? No, that's. Yeah, we're going to this one. The team come across what appears to be the abandoned grey house. Old chicken pens, or rooster pens, scatter the derelict backyard. The rooster was here. Uh, Corey Rooster was a pet to this house, but we think they've moved out and they've decided to rebuild the place because it had rooster all over it. And it says that, beware of rooster. The rooster hasn't been heard in weeks, and the team can only assume that it has found new ground. Um... Sifting through all the information the team has gathered over time-consuming hours of investigation, the team tries to lighten the mood by cracking jokes, small talk and memories of their time in Karori. But they can't hide the truth that this task was too big for them. They break down and struggle over their feelings. I can't do it anymore. And I'm okay to admit that. I'm okay. I should have done something that would be this hard. Like, like, why smoking is bad or drinking? But we're like, let's do the great rest of It'll be, it'll be fun, but it's not. The rooster is out to get us, and, and we can't do anything. We can't find it or anything. The team come to the conclusion that the Karori rooster was a hopeless cause. The team wind up their investigation and head home. John Martin, and that was the Karori Rooster. Alright, I'll do the voice for the salon. I don't have to go to Karori, do I? I hate Karori. Horrible place. Karori. What a hole. <laughs>